Hello. We're not a not through Terry's house in a side street that used to be a hairdresser's. We are a salon. My name's June. How can I help you? Ooh, David. Number ten. Mmm. You've had who on the blower from his seat of power in London, Ian? Oh, David. Listen to me. That dirty, floppy, blonde-haired Southern simpleton will never replace you. Unless he adopted a pompadour quiff or a modified mullet, then I will start worrying. Yes, I know, David. Drag through an edge backwards hair is on vogue for your stressed out city types. But Middle England will always need a sharp back and side. Don't talk to me any more about Bojo. Well, me prolapse womb has a feeling that me and him have history. I have an inkling. It's flooding back to me. I can see him now. He once tried to sell me double glazing back in the 80s. Kept harping on about how he wouldn't charge me for the back bedroom. Said me ventilated soffits wouldn't see February out. And that my main concealed double slot drainage had an unsavoury shadow on its outlet pipe. I nipped that one in the bud. I said, I'm not having you, Bojo, with your mastic gun fiddling with my French windows. 50% or no 50% off. Well, after that, he quickly moved on into politics. Any drinks? Any chicken cobs, man? Any beefy gravy? Any drinks? Are you June? It's only Geoffrey from Beleaguered Airlines. Is it all right if I just park my 70s hostess trolley with a tapped pineapple ice cube container next to the hair dryers? Of course it is, love. How's business? Oh, still only one aircraft, June, and a fleet of 70s hostess trolleys on Stockport Road. I keep having flashbacks to when my mother was alive and the share price of beleaguered airlines was above 0 0.0003 pence. Well, I'll take a chicken compound off your hands. Will you? Will you, June? Yeah. I said to them in the office, sometimes I wonder if I'm legal. I said, I'm going to put an irregularity form in about this because I've been up and down Stockport Road serving drinks like a temporary junior's knickers on the first long haul trip with a tramptastic captain and a persuadable engaged FO. I definitely need to do something, though. I've so much anger, June. I need something to heal my bridge, or there's a very real danger I could become very bitter and twisted. And we don't want that, do we? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, guys. Yeah, right, guys. Let's do this, yeah. We're on the B-E-L, Beleaguered Airlines, 70s hostess trolley service to Stockport Road. Donna, switch the mobile phone off. You can chat to your boyfriend when we're back at base. Are they? No, it's me dealer. For those who've not yet come across me, I'm your supervisor, Geoffrey O. De Bowen. Propositions today on board are dodgy style. June's your number two, down the back. We'll just get on, reapply lips. Steak, headsets, chicken complan, clearing, top and drop. Anyone in here? Anybody see Trisha yesterday? Right, guys, we're all trained the same. If anybody has any first aid situations on board, I've got a packet of plasters in my crew bag, and we all should know the number of the Samaritans. Oh, oh, June, am I right just to use the facilities, June, before we just get gone? It's just that last night. Of course you are. Just that last night, as soon as I put the key in the door, the kids were kicking. Just had enough time to pour myself a crew size minty baileys, then skin to porcelain doing my post-flight jet log. Evacuate, evacuate. Unfasten your money belts and come this way. My God, June, I've not felt like that since I experimented with my GHGs and regained consciousness three days later in the Cuckoo's Nest pub cellar in Amsterdam. Pitch black. I caught my breath on some cellar racking, tripped over and impaled myself on a cascade tap. I was helped out by Henrock. Hands the size of snow shovels. Put it this way, June. Thank God I got rid of that craven egg off the week before. Benelin, it's the nectar of the gods. Mm, I got a postcard from Henrock actually last week. Said he'd lost his wedding ring about the time we met. Did I know anything about it? Funny thing is, I have been setting off the security alarms at the airport for the past three months, but that's mainly on purpose. Well, I have been going through a bit of a dry spell, June. It's February, June. A winter frisk and the chance of a mature semi is as good as it gets. I've emailed him. I said, with a good dose of syrup of figs, I should be giving him a ring. Maybe it'll just sit in me duodenum for eternity. 
It's quite romantic when you think about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I, th I think you've got an electrical fire in your understairs pantry toilet, June. No, it's the homemade incense stick, Geoffrey. What do you think? I'm doing an aromatherapy come massage night class at the local tech, but reading between my lines, it seems to boil down to buying a few plug-in glades and a bottle of baby oil. 